This is how to set up your iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus. Hi, I'm Josh Smith with GotToBeMobile.com and I'm gonna show you what to do. First thing, press the new home button. You gotta actually push in on it a little bit, give it some pressure. Go ahead and choose your language. We're gonna choose English and we're gonna choose US. Now we can connect to a Wi-Fi network to activate or we can use a cellular connection. This might fail if you're trying to do this on the first day, but let's give it a try anyway and we'll type in our password and that's gonna connect and it's going to attempt to activate our iPhone. Now, you might see this message, could not activate. Go ahead and just try again. Afterwards, it should activate pretty easily. Now, if it shows you the number that matches your phone number, go ahead and hit next. And now you need to enter your billing zip code and the last four of your social security number. Now, go ahead and hit next and it will proceed to the next version of what you need to do to activate the phone. This is another spot where it can fail. So you may need to call Verizon to activate your phone if you've made changes to your account or if there's just something goofy. Once that's over, you'll come back here, go ahead and choose enable location services. We really recommend that, let your phone know where you are. It's not telling other people where you're at. We're gonna go ahead and set up Touch ID. It's an easy way to get into your phone. Just go ahead and Press your home button slightly and then move your finger around until it tells you you are done. And here you'll only train one finger, but you can do that in your settings. Now, by default, it's going to ask you for a six digit passcode. You can also do a custom alphanumeric passcode, which is like a password, a custom numeric code or a four digit numeric code. So if you wanna keep using the less secure four digit pin that you've been using, you can do that here. We're going to just create one here. And if you choose one that's really bad, it's gonna tell you not to use that. And you're gonna to have to confirm your code. And once that's done, you're gonna have a few other options. Now we can choose how we want to activate the phone and get our data back on it. We can restore from an iCloud backup, restore from an iTunes backup, set up as a brand new phone, which might be a good idea if you haven't done this in a several years, or choose move data from Android if you're switching from an Android smartphone. We're gonna choose restore from iCloud backup. You're gonna have to sign into your iTunes account, and this process will take a few hours depending on your Wi-Fi connection, because it needs to basically download everything that was on your old phone. Now. Once you do this, you're gonna get a prompt maybe to verify your identity. Once you verify your identity, go ahead and choose agree and it's gonna set up your Apple ID. This can take a few minutes. Now you need to choose the backup you wanna restore from. You can choose to restore from any of your devices. So you can see we can even restore from an iPad, but we're gonna restore from our 6S even though we're going to a 7 plus. Now you're gonna to need to download a software update. Later on you may get an iPhone that ships with this, but we're gonna to have to choose download and install. After you install the iOS 10.0.1 update, you need to enter your Apple ID and password again. Go ahead and hit next, and it's going to update iCloud settings again. Once that's over, you can go ahead and hit continue. And we recommend turning on location services. And now it's going to update iCloud settings, and hopefully it will not get stuck on this spot like it has before. From here, you're able to set up Apple Pay, and if you hit next, it'll allow you to verify one of your primary cards. If all goes well, you'll have one card set up. You may need to verify some of your other cards. Now you can set up iCloud Keychain. We're gonna choose Approve from another device and hit OK. It's gonna prompt us on one of our other devices. Now we need to set up Siri, so we're gonna tap on that. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, it's me. Now that that's done, we're gonna hit continue. And now we can customize the home button. So we're gonna do get started. You can also change this later. And so press your home button, actually push into it and you can try different levels. One, barely feels like you're getting any feedback. Two is kind of in the middle, but more than double one. And three, you really feel like you've made a click. So we're gonna choose three for now. And welcome to iPhone. 
to wait for all these apps to download and install. So that's all there is to setting up your iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus. You can check out a link in the description below for more on what you need to do in each step. Thanks for watching, and if you found this useful, please hit like and subscribe for more videos.